let's have a look on Leptix, an installation environment we developed for our NGO labdo.org. It is based on a lean Linux uh, version called Entix and tools of volunteer helpers developed to <coughs> clone and install software and content. Here you have the option to select various settings, e.g. the languages. English is pre-installed pre or preset, but you can select the language of your choice. Escape will close it. Another setting is F4. For instance, you can uh, load all this environment into RAM. Mm, then you can remove the CD or the boot media um, at the end. And persistence, if you want to modify this environment, you are root, you can change anything, you got administrator, but persistence, be careful if you uh, change this uh, tool, you can also damage it and uh, or overload it and that's uh, not helpful. Uh, in case you the boot will not uh, come to an end, it will stop. But during starting the system, you have here two other options: fail safe boot and safe video mode. Try those in case um, you will not see the desktop at the end of the boot process. Uh, virtual box you will not see. I'm running this demonstration here in uh, vid in a virtual box, so this will not be shown. Antix, I just press enter and then the start process will start and it just takes a few seconds and in the end you should see this desktop. We um, edit here a set of useful tools uh, not only to install software and content but also to um, check donated hardware, uh, if there are any mm, hardware faults, or um, if you have to uh, work on the hardware, clean it or repair it. Uh, here you will see the basic inf information, if it is a 32-bit or a 62-bit uh, CPU, uh, your boot media, RAM and installed internal disk drive. Here you will see uh, you see a set of installation tools. We have the Labdo installer, a graphical um, installing tool, auto deploy and uh, content installer, uh, terminal based solution. This is for users who like a graphical user interface. This tool is uh, auto deploy is a very powerful tool. A lot of uh, settings and checks. Um, it is terminal based. Here we start with P sensor. It is a tool checking the temperature uh, inside an installed hardware. As we run it in a virtual box, we only see two informations here. Usually you have six, seven, eight, or more. Uh, temperature information. If there is not much load on the system and you already see more than 60 degrees, um, then you should check the hardware, clean the filter or check um, the CPU if there has um, to be added some uh, paste, some liquid to the um, cooler. Um, but please ask technical uh, helpers who are able to check that. Um, we also added um, stress CPU, which is um, a terminal based small tool. It will wait 10 seconds, so you have time to uh, prepare some hardware information and then it will 
uh, put load on the CPU up to 100%, but that is only done for 60 seconds because um, if you do it too often or too long, you might damage your CPU or your hardware and then it um, will be counterproductive. Um, here you can see if the temperature will be going over 80 degrees. If so, again, you should check um, the hardware um, because otherwise uh, if you bring it to hot countries where schools are located uh, it might run uh, in Europe or USA but not uh, if it's uh, a school cl in very warm countries. Um, terminal, LX, LX terminal is uh, a typical terminal which you can use for uh, interaction with the system if you are used to. Um, Space FM is our file manager and it is uh, very important. For instance, here you can see the drives. I have an external disk. Typically it is lettered. Uh, the first internal drive is SDA, next one is SDB, SDC and so on. Uh, you can see here a minus, so it is not mounted, it is not made available to the Linux system. If you just click on it, um, it will change to a plus and you will see uh, the content on the disk here are the images I downloaded from our FTP server. Here I can show you one way how to install these images. If you may uh, make a right mouse click on the folder you will see the Labdo image installer which is a very tiny, very small tool. If you click on it, it will just offer you two options. If you want to shred or not to shred the internal disk, which means uh, by writing random data to the disk drive, the data is uh, removed from the disk. And here you can, um, if you already know it, set the host name. This is the labdo ID number uh, as we tag each donated laptop in our online database. Uh, you can modified here or later after the installation process. I cancel here, I don't want to go through the process just to show you this is uh, a very easy way to install the images. But you have only very few sec settings so for more advanced uh, needs please refer to the tutorials of the other install link tools. And if you want to connect to a server, you use plug-in and mount share. Uh, you can scan your network. You have to, if there is a user and password uh, set on your system, you have to type username and password. Um, if you don't want to wait for the scan process, you can type the IP number of your server, select the share and then it is mounted and you can have access to the downloaded images as well. So both is possible, either server or external disk drive. Let's go on. Um, Firefox I don't think I don't have to explain. Um, we also use it to visualize uh, PDFs in the doc folder you will find some helpful um, PDFs and you can read it um, which is recommended. Um, Partit Magic is a um, partition manager. When the installation process came to an end uh, here you will see um, the partition with all the educational software operating system etc. Um, it is um, or it should be fitted to the complete disk at the end beside you use Clonezilla there you have to do it uh, manually. GSmart Control is uh, a tool reading hardware information about the installed disk drives. If you could would see here 
a light red or red icon, then this disk drive is becoming problems. Um, then you should change it definitely before giving it to school. Otherwise, if you go deeper into the details of the disk, uh, sometimes you see warnings, but that is um, that is uh, not always a situation where you have to change the disk. You have to talk to uh, some technicians and get their advice if it's uh, recommended to change the internal disk or if it can be given to school. Clonezilla uh, is a, a basic tool to clone images. Um, we used another installation environment, Parted Magic, uh, in the beginning of the LabDo project, but now we switched to Laptix, as Laptix is completely for free, based on open software and free software. Um, the latest releases of Clonezilla um, had to be bought, and for our volunteer helpers, uh, we don't want them to spend money for their voluntary work. Um, Hard Info is a very helpful tool if you want to get more information about the hardware you're working on, uh, processor, disk, operating system, etc. You have a lot of information as well here. If you uh, want, you can use it to get more information about the hardware. This we have spoken about. Um, in the menu, uh, you will find some more interesting tools, but we um, limited uh, the f amount of software added to Laptix, so it will fit on a CD or on a USB stick. Here we have keyboard settings. We decided to pre-install uh, very common keyboard layouts like German, US English, French and Spanish. Uh, if you need more you can uh, configure it, just right mouse click on it. Um, here we have two power off buttons. The difference is save power on if you are using the persistent mode then you can modify this tool if you are an expert you are able to. Uh, we don't recommend it to the average user but it is uh, sometimes needed that, that you adapt it to your needs and here safe power off will store these modifications to a USB stick. Of course it will not work on a CD and power off is just the normal power off which will end the program. So here we are now coming to an end, if you close the system, if there is a CD in your system, you have to remove it, otherwise you will not see this message and the window will close automatically. Thank you very much.